coming out of the hole. Well, as you can see, or might not see, it's very dark out. And we've come upon our first trail that we're gonna set our first colony trap on down there. I put it down there in the creek, but this is a trail we found here. Corn stubble right here, and they were coming up getting corn. For their food. So let's head on down there and see what we can get ourselves into. Now you should be able to tell they got holes up right up inside the bank here. There might be a couple holes or something down through there. Right there. there. Promising stuff right here. You got a... Oh, here's a really good hole. Now, there's something in there, actually. Really? There's kind of like this dust or uh, dirt. Oh, like fresh? Yeah, like... Something oh, has, is in there. So, so you might as well put one of our colonies. Try to get down in there. And all you gotta do with these kinds of traps is you just set it down into the water like that. It's kinda I put it I put it right up in there. Oh. There's so much air. You don't want you want the trap to be fully submerged. Right. Is this a bigger one? Yeah. It is a bigger one. Get a smaller one. This might make it a little bit better. There. We got our first trap set. Now that one's pretty well guaranteed to have one. If there is something them. in the hole. Which I am sure. Even if they want to try to get in there, we got that's the only way to go in there. They gotta go through that trap to get into their hole. That's right, because it is a double sided trap, isn't yep, it? It is. They can go in either end. No. Coming out of the hole, they gotta go in to get out. And they get trapped. Or they're going into going the hole. Going in, they gotta go in. Now when you get in there, then they can't get back out. And they're pushing on this. Locks them in there. Locks them in. Now you can catch more than one in a trap. As many as. That's the we'll benefit of using a the benefit of using a colony over a uh, conibear bear trap is. Exactly it. You might be able to get two in one. Now I mainly like trapping where they got their home up in there instead of. Out here in the middle of the creek, where it's just like a yeah. hole. We got one right here. So we might as well Which, put probably could put that bigger trap in there. Oh. We have a, uh, I think we have a muskrat on the move. Really? I think one just was right in here, and he just jumped up into the middle there and swam upstream. It's very good possibility. I'm thinking it was. It looked like. And I just had my hands up in there, too. <laughs> it's been a little sketchy. Muskrat come flying out. Now that one ain't gonna quite work. I'm gonna come down a little bit farther, see if I can't find her. Another hole. Better spot. Oh, man. One heck of a... They're just so shallow up on the bank where their holes are at. It's the only bad thing about I colonies. I'm find one that's got a hole in the water. Like right there's another good one. See this right here, there's a bunch of grass and stuff right there. It looks like they could be using this path right here around it. It could be going around out in the middle too. That'd be right there, good spot, but it ain't really deep enough. 
We could sink them down a little bit. But we got them holes in the ditch, the ditch bank where they're actually living, which is way better. All right, it is the next day, everybody. We are coming up on our first colony trap that we set last night, as you guys seen. So let's see what we got here. Coming up on our first trap. Doesn't look like there's anything in it. Quite a bit of junk up in there. Wonder if that mud that got up in there, stopped them from getting in it. Is that a scrat down there in the middle of that creek? Kinda looks like it. Well, we got nothing in the first set. I'm pretty sure we set another one down here. Not too much farther, I don't think. No, I haven't marked on hunt wise. Got one. No? Yeah. Yeah. Did you video it? Yeah, I'm on. There we go. Just a little guy. Got our first strat of the year. Not bad. Just a little one though. got one that's better than none but we replaced some and got them to where we think we can catch some more we seen pretty good evidence just checking them we've seen five, five or six different ones all right so we got our one muskrat um we reset and move some of our traps we're gonna come back tomorrow I don't know what time and uh check and see how many more we got we might leave them up till sunday try to get three days of crap in. try to get as many as we can for you guys and yeah so we will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> you got a wet boot now got a little deep for him there Well, I'm gonna head to the truck. Just dumped out about, like, I don't know, a quart of water out of At least it's warm water now. Body heat, I tell ya. Well, we didn't end up with anything today. Um, we moved some more traps around. 
and uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what we got and we'll probably pull them all tomorrow so yeah we will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow just pulled the third trap the other two didn't have anything in it got another not too bad just a little guy but hey we will take it still got four more traps to check so yeah i will let you guys know what we get Trap number four, another decent sized one in it. Still got three more down there to check yet, but so far, so good. Walking up on trap number five. Oh, another one, sweet. Let's go check our last two down there. And uh, yeah. here um, not a bad weekend wish we had some more Sawyer's getting this one on a stretcher we're gonna get these all stretched out and ready to tan you guys will see that in another video so yeah we will catch you guys in the next one see you later <laughs>